indeed uh, a special occasion today uh, as we uh, prepare to enlist the, uh, the first uh, United States Space Force uh, applicants uh, from the Denver MEF. So Baltimore beat us by a couple of hours this morning, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we're on the same day and, and it's equally as important uh, with the three you're doing. Uh, as a future member of the Space Force myself, uh, welcome. Uh, definitely proud of uh, you know uh, you and, uh, and and your your answer to the nation's call to serve. So uh, it's my distinct pleasure this morning to introduce Major General Stephen Whiting. Uh, Major General Whiting is the Deputy Commander, Headquarters, of the United States Space Force. He assists the commander in organizing, training, equipping, and maintaining mission-ready space forces. These forces provide launch, missile warning, positioning, navigation and timing, communications, space electronic warfare, space control, command and control, and space domain awareness capabilities for the United States Space Command and other combatant commands. The command manages a global network of satellite command and control, communications, missile warning, and space launch facilities, and is responsible for space systems development and acquisition. The command comprises more than 26,000 space professionals worldwide. Major General Whiting also directs and coordinates the activities of the headquarters staff. Major General Whiting is a 1989 distinguished graduate of the United States Air Force Academy with a degree in aeronautical engineering. He's a space operations officer and has commanded the 13th Space Warning Squadron, the 614th Air and Space Operations Center and Joint Space Operations Center, uh, 21st Space Wing, uh, Peterson Air Force Base, Colorado, and the Combined Force Space Component Command and 14th Air Force, Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. Major General Whiting's staff assignments include positions at Headquarters United States Air Force, United States Space Command, United States Strategic Command, the Chief of Naval Operations Strategic Studies Group, the Office of the Deputy Secretary of Defense, Headquarters Air Force Space Command, and the United States Space Force. General Whiting, welcome to Denver MEPS. We are thrilled to have you here. Uh, and with that, sir, I'll turn the floor over to you. Well, it's a privilege to be here, and thank you to the MEPS station for having me. But uh, most importantly, thank you to, to these young three men who are joining a long, distinguished line of Americans that since before we even were a nation, were willing to raise their hand to defend our country. In 1775, the Continental Army was organized, and at that time, they took an oath. And that's what you're about to do. But for the first time in our American history, in 244 years of being a nation, today, seven of you are joining the United States Space Force directly. You're not starting in another service and trans transferring, as most of us are doing. You are joining the Space Force directly because you want to defend your country and you're inspired by the Space Force mission of ensuring that the United States is protected in, from, and to space each and every day. And I'm proud to be here with you. I'm actually envious because I don't get to join the Space Force until tomorrow, so you're beating me into the, the service. But I look forward to joining you, Chief Pentavania, uh, Chief Timmerman, and the other members of Space Force tomorrow. We have a critical mission. It's, it will take great young men and women like you to ensure that we are successful in that mission. And we will do that mission with the other members of the Joint Force the members of the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, and the Coast Guard. And we, we are proud to be a part of that team. So I am privileged to be here today to give you, uh, to administer for you the oath. And from the moment you take that oath and we sign your contracts, you will be members of the United States Armed Forces. Now the next couple months are going to be very challenging for you, but I know that you're going to come out much better and, and prepare to help defend this country uh, in space as we just discussed. So congratulations to each of you. I'm proud of you, and again, I look forward to serving with you in the United States Space Force. So if you will, I'm going to ask you to come to attention and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, I Ian Brown. Brown. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations. According to regulations. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. All right, I'm going to sign your contracts now and make this official.
historic, historic mementos. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, let's all give them one more round of applause. Uh, I should have noted all of them come from military families, so thanks for the Thank tradition of service that your parents and uh, your families have created. And did y'all all tell me before, are you all going to operations? Are you doing space operations? Congratulations. Okay. All right, and are you doing space operations? Congratulations. And you as well? Yes, sir. All right. So y'all go to, to Lackland and then on to Vandenberg and then and then wherever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, well, it's going to be an exciting future, no doubt. I look forward to, to being a part of it with you. Chief? Yeah, no, hey, so I was standing exactly where you are over almost 27 years ago, uh, up when I was up in New York. And uh, when Charlie Six, right, space operations, like you're going to be, it's going to be an exciting ride, but it's going to be much more exciting for you than it was for me just because of where we're going as a nation, and now we have an independent service. So I'm very proud to be part of the organization that you're going to be joining today. Welcome to the team. I look forward to seeing you out in uniform. Operations centers, defending the nation. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks. Yeah, for the first time in American history, we are directly assessing uh, young men and women into the United States Space Force. They're not starting in another service. They're coming directly from civilian life into the Space Force. So earlier this morning, four uh, young men and women uh, took the oath and, and entered the Space Force at Baltimore. And I just had the privilege to administer the oath to uh, three young men here in Denver. Very proud of all seven of them, these pathfinders for our uh, space professionals. What does it mean to you to be here today? Well, first, I'm a little jealous because they're beating me into the Space Force. But uh, tomorrow, I get to join the Space Force. So excited to join them uh, in our new service. But it just represents the opportunity that's ahead. We're standing up an entirely new arm branch. And we get to uh, define its uh, mission, its culture, and how we'll go about uh, fulfilling that mission. And so I'm excited to do that with these uh, young men and women. So I originally just wanted to meet in the military in general because my whole family has been since as far back as we can find. Uh, at Space Force specifically, I just came in at the right time, got the opportunity, and I've always had an interest in any, everything to do with space. And I thought, what better way to serve my country than getting into a career field that I'm interested in. Right, cool. And what does it mean to you to be one of the first inductees? Uh, I'm definitely honored to be one of the first inductees. I mean, something like this hasn't happened since, I think it was around 100 years back, I don't have the exact date. But just to be on the ground floor of this new branch and be able to work with all these people, it's really an honor to me. Uh, just thank you to everyone here at Denver MEPS today for helping me get through and excited to get out the basic thing and get started. So I chose the Space Force because it was new, it was something that I could be the first one to do and get through there and that, that excited me and I wanted to be that like pioneer to get it going.